I am Tebelonyokong at Rhodes University. I'm a distinguished professor here at Rhodes University. I also hold a chair, NRF chair, in medicinal chemistry and nanotechnology. Uh, I should have retired a long time ago, but I'm still here. What's keeping you here? My students, I love them. They keep me young. She has achieved so much in her lifetime. You know, you read about people who explain the science that was never explained before or have won the Nobel Prize. Working with Professor Dibela Nurkong, if you read about her, you know, there are so many things that she's done. I, I would like the students to tell me why they are here and wasting my money. <laughs> Choose somebody to tell me why they are wasting my money. Having the privilege of working and learning from her, from me, gives me so much hope about the next um, generation of scientists in Africa specifically. She has demonstrated that in her life as a black woman, as a young woman, as an African in the field of science, which is deemed a difficult discipline. You know, yeah, growing up, I, I don't like to talk about it because then we'll go to sheep because I used to head sheep and that's all people think, talk about. I remember I was receiving an honor doctorate in Canada. I, I get there to the city, all I see is pictures of me surrounded by sheep. Mainly, I think I have contributed uh, manpower development, training students to the highest possible level. Highest possible level is not just PhD. It's people, you free the mind. I think we've contributed a lot to the body of knowledge. Universities are for creation of new knowledge. They are not for you to sit here and not create new knowledge. We are also a center for the whole world to come and see that Africa exists and in the middle of nowhere called Eastern Cape. Nationally, we, we do all we can to make sure that researchers get the facilities they need. It's called XPS, X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy when it arrived. It was so big, that, that arm was so big that it couldn't go through the doors. The doors had to be shaved <laughs> for it to come in. And then I called the media, I said a spaceship has arrived, they believed me. It is used by every university in this country. It's about 10 million runs. Each part will cost about a million to replace. And equipment fails, like your car will fail at some stage. There, is, there are no funds for repair. No one gives you funds for repair. So when, when a piece of equipment fails, you, you struggle. My research focus is on the development of um, highly effective cancer treatment methodologies. And one of the most promising um, technique is known as photodynamic therapy, which works really well. It utilizes light and these chemical molecules. The reason why we use these molecules is because they are not toxic to the human body, so they will travel through the body to kill the cells without destroying anything else, which is what's usually seen with chemotherapy. So my PhD is trying to solve the problem of penetrability with light. So instead of using light, I use sound. This, when you look at it, is like the baby of the other one. But this baby is more expensive. Uh, my research focuses on the early detection of breast cancer uh, using biomarkers either in urine or uh, human serum because most of the now existing techniques, mammogram or even like tissue um, extractions are very expensive and not a lot of people have access to that. So we're trying to bring down health benefits to just the normal people. We are so used to the West being in the forefront. We are even shy ourselves to say we are in the forefront because we are not used to that. Hello. It's from Zambia, Lesotho, India, Kenya. We are United Nations in here. We have to develop as a continent. We cannot develop as individuals. At first I started my PhD at University of Nairobi. But then I had so many issues, especially because of the instrumentation and everything. I'm working on water treatment. It's a big thing, considering what the, 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 the problems we have. The two things, I think, cancer and water, those are big things, especially for Africans. I'm very passionate 
about science being translated into solving African problems. I think we are a brilliant people with enough skills. We can then apply what we learn in school to solve real life problems. Then our education system is what it's supposed to be. I'm proud of being part of the Rhodes uh, Nanotech uh, Division. You know, if a young child somewhere can realize that you can have an idea, you can develop it, that creation doesn't come only from Europe or the West or wherever, creation is right here. <laughs>